I know this is a pretty hot take, but Aaron Donald is good at football. Aaron Donald is really good at football. He's having yet another unbelievable season, but he has so many unbelievable seasons. I think we just kind of get used to him. He's now had nine sacks in as many games. Uh, and I just wanted to make a video, sort of break down some of his sacks uh, and how what makes him so effective. Because it's interesting, because I, I do feel like it's sometimes not exactly what you would expect. Like, let's start off with this one. So he's going to be going up one-on-one -on -one against Miami's left guard. That's the way this play is going to work. While one-on-one -on -one matchups against Aaron Donald are never a good thing, uh, it's sometimes hard to avoid. And really, LA does a great job at giving him as many one-on-one -on -one matchups as possible. Like you even see on this play, you have a player lined up uh, as a nose tackle. So that way, basically, unless you're going to bring in a... Uh, a tight end and have him block an edge rusher, you're pretty much stuck with having a guard one-on-one -on -one block D Donald or playing an extra offensive lineman. Once this play starts, watch how Don Donald, he does that typical thing where he does that jump move to the outside, just gives himself better positioning. And what he's trying to do on this play, it seemed like, was to get his left arm far enough over to the right side of this, or to the left side of the left guard's body, uh, his left, so Donald's right. Uh, and then basically Donald would get his own right hand and try to force his way through in that side. But it's played pretty nicely. There isn't a lot of room here. And that's kind of the, the disadvantage with being a defensive tackle trying to pass rush is that there just isn't as much room to try and get to the quarterback. But there's a lot more room if you're an edge rusher, which is why edge rushers tend to get more sacks. But for Donald, this is fine. He's fine with not necessarily having the best technical position he says hey well you know what I can just try to overpower you and since I'm Aaron Donald I'm going to be able to pull it off watch how he is just able to put his head down and just force that guard backwards and then he's able to actually get the ball out because Donald seems to every time he hits the quarterback the ball tends to come out that wasn't just Donald there was also some other pressure on the other side but that really was set up because of a good play by Aaron Donald I like this one against Washington the, but the reason why I'm going to show this one is really because I want to just talk about how good his hands are his hands are fantastic he always knows uh, how to use his hands to get by opposing players uh, and it's it's really fun to watch uh, so this play once again it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup again kind of a similar idea where you have a player lined up against the center and he's going to rush the passer so therefore you're kind of forcing the opposing team to try and one-on-one -on -one block Aaron Donald so once this play starts Donald notice his right hand and how he really gets that to the uh, left shoulder pad of the guard he's going up against from here he can then try a rip move which the rip move is going to be he's going to get his left arm and basically just force it underneath uh, the guard's left arm so you know Donald gets the left arm there and then he can pretty much just run straight by the guard if he can pull it off and he has so much more room to try and pull it off because of that initial push so again a lot of being a defensive tackle going up against the guard is trying to create room for yourself and he's done a great job at doing that he pulls off the rip move and is able to reach out grab Alex Smith and then jump on Alex Smith's back I remember I believe this was the very first play uh, after the Alex Smith was playing. It was at least one of the first couple plays uh, that Alex Smith came in, so that was kind of funny. Uh, funny because, you know, Smith was fine. Uh, but really, just a tremendous play by Aaron Donald there. This next one's another interesting one. This time, he's going up against the right guard. Uh, so, 71 right there. That's who Donald's going to be going up against. And Donald, sometimes he just really just plays a basic style. Like, every now and then, he says, you know what, I'm just going to keep it simple. He's going to just go with a bull rush on this play. Nothing fancy. He's just going to try and get his, uh, really, both his hands kind of in the peck shoulder pad area and just try and overpower. And again, Aaron Donald, people say he's undersized. He's the strongest man alive. I mean, he can push guys amazingly far back. And watch what he's going to do here. I mean, this is just like a bull knocking a human back it doesn't even look real Donald ended up knocking the ball out which again you know Donald it's like almost like he's playing a video game uh and the, the sliders are turned in a way that fumbles happen with any contact because it seems like every time he's near the ball it comes out uh I don't, I don't know how he manages to do that that's just one of those you know certain star players that just have a knack for knocking the ball out Donald is one of those and again his strength is just insane and that's you know there was a thing on the top 100 uh, players when he was number one I forget who it was but someone was asked what makes Aaron Donald so good and he just responded with that's what we're all trying to figure out and that's really why because that's not like some crazy smart move it's just 
he can do it better than everyone else. One last one, I want to talk about his footwork and his speed for a second because really, I mean, he has every single attribute a uh, defensive tackle would need at rushing the passer. We're going up against the right guard on this play, uh, and watch what happens right when this play starts. So as you see, Donald, what he's really trying to do is he gets his left hand, and he kind of gets it on the, the right, almost on the elbow area right there of 66. That's what he's trying to do. He's just trying to grab that arm and push it to the side, so that way he can try to twist to the other side, you know, so that way he can get to our right. Essentially, he's trying to pull off a, a swim move here, where you sort of push 66 just a little bit to his left, you get your right arm over him, and then you can get completely by him and try to get to the quarterback. That's what he's going to try and do here. Part of it too, though, is you don't, you don't just want to try and push him one way. You also, for Donald, he has to get to the other side. So Donald's going to run to the right side of the screen while trying to push 66 to the left side of the screen and then get his arm over. And ideally, he doesn't even have to worry about getting his arm that high up. You know, he wants to get it just a little bit over so that way he can continue and run. But with his footwork, he almost gets completely by him in an instant and he's able to yank Josh Allen to the ground. Uh, Allen said that he grabbed uh, a face mask or something, but the the ref said no. It might have been a horse collar. It's hard to see from this angle. I don't know, but it's an incredible play regardless from, from Donald. Even if he grabbed Allen in the wrong spot, that would obviously not be great, but uh, just the fact that he was able to, to power through so quickly. Yeah, I mean, listen, uh, Donald's the best player alive. Uh, in terms of if you take positional value out of the equation and just talk about who's better compared to all their peers that play the same position, there's some really good defensive tackles out there. No one even comes close to how good Aaron Donald is, and you can't say that about any other position. I mean, he's just that much far ahead of all other defensive tackles, and there's like Hall of Fame defensive tackles who are playing right now. They're just not on Donald's level. It feels like he's playing the wrong, like in the wrong league. It feels like he needs to move up a league, but he's playing in the highest league, you know, in the, with the best players in the world. That's just how good he is. He's good enough that if there were a best players in the universe league, he should be playing in that one. I mean, he's insane. Absolutely fantastic. I realize that nobody is learning really much of anything from this video. I mean, it's not like anyone thought that Aaron Donald was only okay before clicking on this video, but I still think it's important to talk about guys, even if they've been dominant for a while, and I just find him really fun to watch. And he's the best player in football. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.